So the crab has built a little home for itself underneath this rock and he's excavating. He's pushing the sand out onto the surface. Where on day, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, day four of having the crab with the shrimp in the tank. The little hermit crabs were, were so happy when I brought back these shells. The big guy, all he's been doing for the past four days has been playing with the shells. Within minutes of putting the shells in the tank, he started uh, trying to trying them out and he actually changed from his old shell. So the smallest one is now in the medium size shell underneath. Uh, there he is there. And then the medium one took this guy's old shell and he's over here. They love this air bubbler. And all through the day, all they will do is just play with these shells. They move them around, they keep putting their little claws in there to see whether or not they can fit into the shell. And they just keep doing it. The shrimp are just swimming around, having a good old time. And Mr. Krabby, he's still excavating. So, don't know how much he's gonna dig out, but he's still going. And I don't know if it's more so a little home for himself or maybe he's making up a trap because anything that wanders down there, um, he may actually attack. Um, and Mr. Crab there, I, it's kind of a rescue mission. I took him back because he has only one good claw. The other claw got broken off somehow. He's a juvenile. I'm not sure what type of crab it is. It could be a lady crab. Definitely not a blue crab. And uh, this is from Senjgatakit Pond over on Martha's Vineyard. There's one of the little shrimps. And uh, yeah, so it's a very simple tank. Um, this is salt water from the pond. And I have extra salt water, so if the water gets all mucky, then I could change it out. Um, the little area under the rocks there, that's where Mr. Crab likes to hang out. And, um, yeah, the big shrimp, I'm not sure where it is right now, but the big shrimp is around here somewhere. But, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Shrimps. And it's only a two gallon tank. Just an air pump little light on the top so so far so good we'll see what happens and um, keeping it near this window so you can see the sunlight coming in um, so hopefully that will put some algae and it has been putting some algae on the rocks and the little hermit crabs are picking away at it I did throw in some plants from the pond and um, they seem to have disappeared a little bit, but this big plastic one is fake, obviously. But there's some other ones in there from the pond. Kind of hard to get from that angle, a lot of reflection. But I grabbed those, figure it makes them feel at home, and plus maybe they're eating any bacteria off of their um, parasites, whatever. That's what shrimp like to eat, I guess. But we'll see how long they the shrimp last. If the shrimp die, then they will become food for the crab. Or the hermit crabs. We'll see. Uh, and then, oh, over here. 
Mr. Single Sea Monkey is doing fine. And Mr. Crayfish is okay down in the basement with his little buddies down there. Because now his buddies were feeder fish and now they're too big for him to eat. They are one of them is bigger than him now. Close to five, six inches now. Alright, that is all.